Hey everyone, Teresa Mattis here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error. The item can't be copied because it's too large for the volume's format. This happened when I plugged in my USB drive. So, if you take a look at my USB drive, it's a brand new drive. You can tell that I have 8 gigabytes um, available on this drive. I want to copy this file right here, which as you can see is 4.67 gigabytes. Now this should be able to fit onto this drive, but when I drag it in, it says it can't be copied because it's too large for the volume's format. So to explain this error just a bit, most USB drives come pre-formatted in an MS-DOS FAT format. And to most users, this formatting will work perfectly. However, for us editors who create high quality videos, which sometimes can be quite large, you know, multiple gigabytes, the MS-DOS format is just not enough. Some people may suggest using the Mac OS journaled extended format. This will work perfectly fine for people who only use Mac computers. However, to maximize the ability for a client to have any type of operating system, we find it's best to format your USB drive into XFAT. This is the format that we always use when giving a USB drive to a client. Here are the steps to fixing this error. First, you're going to want to make sure to copy any and all of your files on your flash drive to your desktop or another location. You want to make sure that you back up your files because you will be reformatting your flash drive. You can see that I don't have any files on my flash drive, so I am ready to go. Next, you're going to open Disk Utility. Next, you're going to want to click the flash drive or external hard drive that's aligned on the far left. Not the indented one, but the flash drive itself. You're going to want to go to the Erase tab and click Erase. Once this is done, go up to Partition and change Current Partition to One Partition. Change your format to XFAT, click Apply, and Partition. All right, it's as simple as that. So you can close your disk utility, double click on your flash drive, and try to drag your file again onto the flash drive. I'm going to speed this up now to show you that it will actually copy over to your newly formatted flash drive. For most computers, XFAT will work on both Windows and Mac operating systems. As I mentioned earlier, this is the format that we always use when giving a USB drive to a client. I highly recommend selecting XFAT, whether the flash drive is going to be used on a Windows or a Mac computer. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my official website at www.teresamattis.com and my consulting website at www.teresamattisconsulting.com. I'll include links to both of the sites below. See you next time, and thanks for being awesome.